being a victim is, is ugly. It's a disease, but going to the Serenity House, it was the cure. I was in a long, long domestic violence with my kid's father for over 10 years. In the beginning, it was love, but until I had my first child is where the domestic violence started. The slapping, the black eyes, the punching, handcuffed to the chairs, you know? Things like that really started to settle in, and I knew that it was wrong. And I've always asked myself, why did I go through it? And I can remember a day that my oldest son stepped between me and his dad. And I knew then that it was time to go. On September the 17th, 2012, I made a phone call to friend to friend. And it was like, it was like there was earth angels. When I got to the Serenity House, it was like walking into the gates of heaven. It was such a relief. I was welcomed with open arms, with hugs. I started to love myself, and I felt myself starting to want to be pretty. And every day for 39 days, I looked in the mirror and I told myself that I was somebody, and that I love myself. Friend to friend have lovely resources, nice programs. They're there to offer it to you, but it's up to you to get it done. You can't be a victim always. Once you leave your abuser, that's survivor. The same hands that we had to defend ourselves with, the same hands that we had to put up and block with, we're taking those same hands and making jazzy jewelry because we are jazzy women. These jewelry pieces are straight from the heart and straight from the hands of women that went from victims to survivors. I really felt obligated to come back to friend and friend because I felt like if, if they weren't here, I felt like I would have been back. I felt like I would have nowhere to go. I felt like I would have no one to talk to, no one to be on my side. Now that I'm on the opposite side of the desk, they give me hope knowing that yesterday they left their abuser and today that they're at the Serenity House, that's empowerment to me. 